What's going on guys? What's going on? Mike from Dominus Athletics here. We're going to look at some nutrition basics because I know some people get pretty confused and pretty overwhelmed with that stuff. Now look, I know a lot of you who like fitness and do bodybuilding and all that stuff who go to the gym. I know a lot of you, nutrition, you know, you think of it, it's kind of confusing. It's kind of overwhelming for some of you, so I'm going to try and simplify some of it. I tell you, it's not that complicated. It really isn't. I'm going to give you guys three main tips here that will create a basis for your understanding of nutrition. All right, so the first thing is calories in versus calories out. So I touched upon this in some videos with Luigi, but we're going to re-explain it here. So first of all, everyone has their maintenance calories in a day. That's the calories you need to function in a day. So say 3,000, for example, right? If you're a bodybuilder or whatever, you use 3,000, use that number. And if you eat at 3,000, you're not going to gain any weight. You're just going to maintain your weight. You won't lose any, but you'll just stay at that weight. If you eat more than that, say, three, four hundred calories more, you'll slowly start gaining weight. Now, if you start eating like a thousand more, you're going to start gaining a lot of fat, man. You're going to be a fat guy. So if you want to gain weight, you have to create a caloric surplus. If you want to lose weight, you have to eat under those maintenance calories, right? So again, three, four, five hundred calories below, and you'll see yourself start to lose weight. This is the basis, guys. This always works. If you're eating more than you need in a day, you're going to gain weight and vice versa. So if you're not getting to the weight you want, you're simply going to have to adjust the calories accordingly. Second thing I want to talk about is protein, okay? What I'd aim for is one gram of protein per pound of body weight. Say you're 170 pounds, you want 170 grams a day. Some high protein foods are things like chicken, beef, fish, eggs, cheese, yogurt, especially Greek yogurt, things like that. There's even lentils and beans so that those are good as side dishes or whatever if you want to cook. Tip number three, you want to avoid lots of junk food. This is stuff like fast food, fried food, stuff with a lot of sugar, you know, cakes, all that stuff, all that good stuff. I know it's hard for some people. It's hard for me sometimes, okay? You get those cravings. You can have once in a while, you know, all, everything in moderation. But don't go crazy on it. Instead, you want to get most of your carbs from things like wheat products, like bread and pastas. Whole wheat is preferred, guys, but you do what you got to do. Fruits and vegetables, rice, potatoes, you know, things like that. And good fats come from things like fish, cheese, nuts, olive oil, eggs. It's even in some of the meat you have and in avocados. Avocados are a really good source of good fats. All right, guys, that is the video. If you learned anything, leave a like down there. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, we're on Instagram. You know, we post some quality stuff, you know, so you definitely want to check that out. Link will be in the description below. I'm Mike from Dominus Athletics. That is the video. We'll see you next time.